Any idea what period this is? Uh, well, I've always been led to believe it's Georgian, but I don't know. I don't know for certain. Okay. George the Third. George the Third. Right, splendid. It's about 1770. Yeah. Right. Now, this form of table, before we go into the exact date, was virtually invented or certainly promoted by a Scotsman. Right. A Scots architect mm -hmm. called Robert Adam. Right. Oh, right. What wood is it? Mahogany. mahogany. But it's not the best mahogany, and it's got a lot of wear and tear. It looks like a family piece. How long have you had it? <laughs> I've had it forever, um, as long as I've, I've been around, and as far as I know, it's been in the house in which I live, in which my family has lived for... Uh, 200 odd years. Right. So that's that's all I know about it. It seems to me it's surprisingly high. Is that is that about the it's height? It's typical of the period. It's oh, a right. carving table basically. Right. And you can see this wear and tear it's had here. I mean, uh, this is you know 250 years of wear and tear. Yes. This is more recent. It's a vase of flowers or something like that. Somebody's put on there. Yeah. Typical. Don't do it, please. No. Right. <laughs> um, have you ever noticed one little added extra it's got on it? What? I was just crawling around underneath and under here are three finger marks. You see these? It's the little gouges here. Yeah. Right, if I put my fingers in there like that and pull... Oh, no. I uh, never knew that existed. <laughs> uh, isn't that nice? Well, um, it's a total surprise. <laughs> I didn't know it existed. <laughs> it looks like it hasn't been open for a while. It's a bit dusty there, look. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it's hardly ever been used, this. See, it's very clever. Yeah, yeah. Good heavens. <laughs> But also, what I like about this, I mean, it's got a lot of sophistication about it, yet at the same time, you know, I love this fluting here, this sort of copied from ancient Greece, this fluting. But then this, what's called an oval patra, this flower head here. But I can't see it on this one, but the one here, that's actually nailed on. Good. No, little oh, nail. yes, yes, I see, yeah. So whoever made this probably didn't make these. He, somebody else made them. He bought them in and, stuck and them just stuck them on. Yeah. Interesting for what is a sophisticated that's piece of cheating. furniture. That's not cheating. No. Uh, well. No. What? No. It's perfect. It's perfectly genuine piece. So uh, we need to value it. I mean, it's Georgian furniture. Is, uh, I think most people know has gone up in value recently. Um, have you had it valued in the last few years or anything? Has well, there been any valuation it, on it? It was valued for probate when my aunt died, which is um, three years ago. And I think it was. Um, they valued it at £12,000, which seemed to me an extraordinarily high figure, but I, I don't really know what I'm looking at, so it's, it, it, that's, what it, that's what it was. It does seem an awful lot of money, doesn't it, for, a, so, so, for, a, for a, what is yeah. essentially just a side table yeah. and a bit, bit scratched. Right. Well, I think that um, today, for your insurance policy, you should insure it for £30,000. Thank you very much. That's that, that, totally amazing.